Hello, welcome back to the channel for another coin hunt. Today we have 250 pounds of 50 piece to have a hunt through. We're on the Maidstone Coin Center bags yet again today. Book a limited again, 20th of February, 2024. I think this is the fifth bag in the row that I've had from there uh, in this sort of style. Different book of limiteds though, but this one Folkestone. Um, now, the I think the first three of them, we had a pretty decent result in, but the last one, that wasn't so good. So hopefully today the bags are gonna redeem themselves and we're gonna find something juicy in here. All right, without further ado, let's get this bag opened up and see what we can find. And while that bag's being opened up, let's have a quick look at the book to see which designs we're still after. On page one, Q Gardens, that's the rarest 50p in circulation. Page two is complete. On page three, we need the last of the Olympics. That one is shooting. And then pages four, five, and six are all complete. And on the last page, we've found everything up to and including the King's Coronation. And our first find of the day is a King Charles, and it is... It's a salmon! <laughs> Fantastic! This is the first time I've found one. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think an initial tranche of about 500,000 of these have been released. So that is very exciting. Absolutely thrilled to have that. That one's actually gonna go in the book. I would have called it book complete without one of these. Um, they're going for quite a premium on, on the auction sites at the moment. So uh, yeah, how cool is that? Let's just double check. Yeah, there's no privy mark. The, the, uh, the non-circulating version in the annual set, that's got a, a privy mark on. This one is definitely the circulating version absolutely fantastic so there we have it that's the new definitive uh 50p that's replaced the shield lovely so yeah that will go in the book at the back next to i think the coronation 50p was the the last one in there so that's very cool another king charles and there we have that Coronation 50p I mentioned. So this one, I'm also gonna be holding on to this because we don't know how many of them are gonna be circulated either. No crown on King Charles's head there. So this is the circulating version. Wow, wonderful stuff. The two most recent 50p designs to be released into circulation are our first two finds. That is awesome. I'm going to start the bag off here with a girl guiding from 2010. Uh, should be from 2010 anyway. The non-circulating version, it was restruck in 2019. So just keep an eye out for that. As it is, that's going to be sent back to the bank. And we have scouts here. Again, this was restruck in 2019. So double check the other side. 2007, that's the correct year. And that bag's got a dictionary there. Very common. I think this is the one that we find more than any other 50p design, a commemorative design at least. Oh, there we go. There's a Roger Bannister, should be 2004. It is 2004. Again, another one that was restruck in 2019. There's a Pride from Another King Charles, which one's this gonna be? 50 pence on this side. It's the Memorial, Queen Elizabeth II. That one's not a keeper.
Ah, nice. And there's a Peter Rabbit 2016. That's a low tier keeper. And quickly followed by an old channel favourite. There we have Diversity. Find tons of diversities. Very cool. And we have a squirrel nutkin. It's from the same year as that Peter Rabbit. It's a low tier keeper as well. And we're going to finish that bag off with another dictionary. Oh, lovely. There we have a WWF from 2011. Absolutely lovely design, that one. Never find, never, never get sick and tired of finding WWFs. And we don't find that many of them either. Um, that is the ninth one that we've found on the channel. I didn't know that. I had to consult the shaky scale, by the way. It looks like we've got a couple of uh, commemoratives coming up here as well. First of all, we have a Brexit from 2020. Put that next to diversity from the same year. And there is a VC Heroic Acts, Restruck in 2019. So check the year on this one, 2006. That's the correct year. It has a sister coin, the medals, which you might well find this hunt as well. Uh, King Charles is out in force today. We have another memorial coin there. And another one. Very cool, that's the third one now. finish off with the Battle of Britain. So this one is from 2015. Um, it's worth checking the other side. Make sure it's a Jodie Clark portrait. If it's IRB then it was from the 2015 um, annual sets. And also check the year. It should be 2015. It was again restruck in 2019 for 50 years of the 50p. I do hold on to the Battle of Britons. So I'll put it down there in the bottom row with all the other ones. Oh, and that bag straight away, I see another diversity. Oh, and another Battle of Britain as well. Okay, well, first of all, there's diversity. Fantastic. Very nice. And then here's another Battle of Britain. Let's see what this one reveals on the other side. It's another standard circulating version there. Very cool. Go with its friend. Let's see if there are any other commemoratives in this bag. There is another diversity. Diversity making another charge, trying to catch up with dictionary. I just noticed there's a couple more loose 50p's there under those bags. I'll deal with them in a minute. Let's work our way down to them. Plenty more bags to go. We've already got loads of finds on the table. A couple of really nice ones as well. We've got that WWF, which is lovely. And that salmon, absolutely thrilled with that. Once we found that salmon, if we'd found nothing else in the entire hunt, I would have been happy because i been absolutely itching to see one of those. There is a Platinum Jubilee, just worth checking this side. Uh, Queen on Horseback is the non-circulating version on that one. It's very cool. very nice I didn't clock the other side we have a grown a castle from Jersey uh, big difference on the year on this one let's check what this one is 1998 I think that that is the most common uh, year on these ones I think that the mintage figure is two million um, I could be wrong about that you'll know before I do uh, because well in the editing if I've got that wrong I will put up a caption saying what the correct mintage is but that's a Definitely a keeper as well. Running out of room here for the keepers. Funnily, even though it's the highest, it's 
because 97 is one and a half million, I've found tons more of the 97s than the 98s. Got another pride. Another Brexit with the correct date. And this is the last bag of the hunt. Brexit. 31st of January 2020. It took, took a moment for my eyes to focus and read that. But let's have something different for a minute. <laughs> ah, and there we have the medals that I mentioned earlier. 2006. Put it there next to the heroic acts. Okay, I'm going to double check all the coins now and make sure I didn't miss anything the first time round. For shields, I'm looking for years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 17, 18, and anything from 2021 onwards. And I'll post back in a few seconds with what I find. Okay, I finished checking all the coins and I didn't find anything else of interest. Pretty successful hunt today, I think. So the best finds are kind of accu accumulated down here at the bottom. Um, so we've got the 98 Grone Castle, a couple of Battle of Britons. 2016 Peter Rabbit and Squirrel Nutkin. We've got that lovely WWF. And then I'm not keeping these ones, but I've put, uh, well, these ones here. I'm keeping these two for sure. Uh, but I've put these here just because we've got the full King Charles III set there. We've got the Memorial 50p. We've got the Coronation 50p. And we've got the Salmon, which is absolutely lovely. Really, really pleased about that. Hard to pick a favourite. Um, you know, in years to come, I'm, I'm sure that we're going to be finding Salmons aplenty, but... At the moment, a 2023 salmon is quite a thrilling thing to find, in my view at least. Well, thank you very much for watching as always. Let me know in the comments which one your favourite was, and I'll see you next time for another coin hunt.